Okay, I'm putting a, a, a canvas skin on a foam a teardrop trailer door. And uh, this one I'm using here, I, I, I have been using uh, Glidden Gripper in the past. And there's none in my town here, Ellensburg, Washington. So this here, I went for this stuff here. And it's an indoor-outdoor primer sealer. Um, and I, uh, uh, Rust Oleum, I, I believe, makes this here. But uh, uh, anyway, so I've been, you know, I've used Tight Bond a lot uh, in the past. I've made uh, two other teardrop trailers. And, and it works pretty good. And for me, though, it seems to be temperamental, especially this is a winter time. I got snow outside, so I'm having to do this inside my house. And I got it about 65, 70 degrees. And the, the tie bond, too, takes just a, a real long time to dry and stuff. And then I get bubbles at the end. But uh, anyway, so I'm just going to show the process that I, that I do on this. And it's, it's finally working pretty good. So this is going to go here. Well, first off, I put a little moisture on the on the canvas. Got a spray bottle here. And I've got this laid out exactly how I want it. Okay. Now I don't put the paint on. This is really thick stuff. I only put it on the uh, 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 put it on the foam and not on the canvas itself. But I put it on thick enough to where when I when I roll it out, it uh, it gets really good adhesion this way here. And the uh, reason I'm going this way here, I, I started out doing these exact doors here, trying to type on two, and I just had nothing but problems. It took about 30 hours to dry. In the last couple hours, it would just give me a couple of bubbles that uh, very, very frustrating. And so, anyway, so I'm going to put this on as thick as I can here. I've cleaned, I, I, I cleaned this, this uh, foam board up with uh, alcohol before I put this on. This stuff is really sticky stuff, works pretty good on that. I just keep putting a really thick coat on. I'm going to do a, a different thing for the the edge around here. I'm using. I'm going to try. I've done a little bit of experiment. I'm going to use some uh, medical bandages and stuff. They're four inches wide to go around the the edge here. After I get these these on. Now this is a primer, so this won't be. I'll, I'll glue this down here, and then I will also. Uh, uh, Put a coat on top of the canvas after this dries. And that will be my primer, and then I'll paint it, uh, paint it with my finished coat that I'm going to do for my for my build. This is my fourth side of two doors. And this, this is working really good now. Dries pretty quick. Okay. I've got a really great uh, yard sale roller for 25 cents this thing here works fabulous so i'm just coming down here I'm not putting much pressure just enough to really really get it stuck though and i try to roll the 
paint out towards the end. This doesn't squeeze out too much doing it this way here. Works really good. It really gets good contact on these edges here. It dries that way and does it really well. It comes down. But also, usually before I, I put these on and I get ready to glue and I'll wet it again and just roll this out, kind of ironing this, this canvas out. Same thing, I'm going to roll up this other side, or the bottom half. Bring it past where I glued before. Bring my paint back in there. I don't have no music going in the background because that really annoys me when I hear that watching another video. So I'll hum a little bit. This is primer paint humming. This stuff goes on really thick, really nice, uh, <coughs> really nice coating. I tried a test piece before I started this, and uh, after it dried, it really, really stuck well to the foam board. And this is the hard foam insulation. This is the uh, the, uh, the the tight the tight foam, so it's it's waterproof. This stuff is really fabulous to work with. Extremely light, easy to shape, but if you're if you've done it before, you're real aware of that. Like I said, I built two other teardrop campers and uh, and also a pickup camper. And uh, this is fabulous insulation. I'm using no no wood in this construction. So it's going to be uh, just all foam on the top. Of course, wood on the on the bottom for a base. But I'm not going to glue it to the trailer. I'm just going to bolt it to the bolt the wood platform to the trailer, treat it, and then just um, mount the the trailer itself on top of it. That way, if I ever have problems with the wood later, I just lift it off and replace it. Works pretty good. Okay, so there's that coat again. Get rid of some of this extra paint here. I'm gonna stick this in the water real quick. Put it on the paint. Again, just roll it back with a little bit of uh, pressure on it. Not much, make sure everything lines up how I want it. Yeah, they come up. Let's do it real good. Get the 25 cent roller. Again, I'm not using much pressure here. You come down this way any any big globs of paint can come out the bottom but I find I get just a little bit coming out so it's, it's working out just really good so now that I got most of the wrinkles out I give a little more pressure on here
that's pretty much it. I'll go around a rag here to the little drips of paint that comes down just to, to get them out. There's not too much, but they're just enough to show that I'm getting full coverage on it. Um, that's it on that.